What's going on YouTube? This is your boy The Vintage Man. We are back with another video, man. And today, I recently picked up a very fire pair of Air Jordan 1s. Uh, today, I went looking for some Jordan 1s and ended up not getting what I was expecting, but I did come out with a very dope sneaker purchase, man. If you're new to the channel, right now what I need you guys to do is hit that subscribe button, ring notification bell for your boy, man. We are super close to that 40K. Help your boy out, like the video, share the IG wherever you can. Tell a friend to tell a friend that loves sneakers to come check out the vintage world. Also, leave a huge like on this video, man. I go for every video is 300 likes, man. You guys have been killing it, so please keep it up. We might have to raise the goal up to 400 likes the way you guys have been really supporting the channel, man. Last but not least, head over to Instagram, give your boy a follow at the vintage world. It'll be linked down below in the description box, man. And before we get into these sneakers right here, I got a very special gift from the clothing brand Collar. The Collar clothing brand is based out of Toronto, Canada. Very dope. I want to visit there so bad, but they hit me up on Instagram. I was like, man, we want to send you something. I was like, please do so, because they have a lot of dope things, man. And so they sent me over a couple of products, which I'm going to show you guys right now. Ah, there we go. Let's go ahead and pull the first thing out. Check out the packaging. It comes in very nice, very pristine. I love it. And it says uh, the clothing brand name, Leaders of Denim innovation check out the bag and check out the packaging that comes in and it says even on the bag design in toronto i don't know if you guys can pick that up uh let's go ahead and pull it out and show you what they sent man let's go ahead and pull this out and i'm gonna give you some b-roll of me having it on as well and y'all gonna definitely see some photos over there on instagram man so let's go ahead and get through this real quick uh it even comes with like a little tag and it tells you like the measurements and stuff like that these are the 203 rockstar classic skinny check it out man this thing is super dope man the presentation is awesome i love it and uh, check out the inside. Got some paper, of course. And uh, yeah, here you have it, man. Very nice jeans. Man, the quality feels very good. It's like these things are very, very doable, man. All right, next we have a t-shirt that I picked. I was like, yo, this is dope. So let me go ahead and snag this up. Y'all send this over for your boy. I really do appreciate it. Thanks again for reaching out. Hopefully we got some dope things coming in the near future. The reason I got it because it kind of has that like vintage wash theme to it. And as you can see, the whole, you know, uh, graphics on the front, I really, really like it. And it's like all over gray. It's like a wash gray. Very nice. It's pretty much like a thunderstorm going on. And it says the heels will change you, man. Very dope. And it kind of has like a pop out logo on the front print of the shirt. And then last but not least, we have some crazy stuff in this package right here, as you guys can see. It says Kohler, uh, genuine leather goods. And when I tell you guys, the leather on this jacket is insane. It is crazy. I'm not even gonna cap with y'all, man. Um, I already checked it out because I want to see, you know, how the packaging came on, show you guys what you will get when you get your package. So let's go ahead and pull this joint out. And oh my God, check out the leather work on this. It's like an all over Python leather skin. I don't know what this is, but it's just super nice, bro. I love it. Thank you guys so much for sending this over. This all types of crazy, some exquisite work. The craftsmanship, the leather quality is just insane, man. I appreciate it again. Hope you guys enjoyed the B-roll of me trying on these products. All right, so today I went looking for the Air Jordan 1 mochas. I went to like three different stores. I've been really checking and calling every single day because I really want the mocha ones for my personal collection, you know? So I've been calling everywhere, seeing who gonna get them, when they gonna get them. And everybody keeps telling me uh, tomorrow or next week and stuff like that. So I actually went up there today because somebody told me that they had men pairs of the mocha ones but when i got up there it was a totally different story they said they didn't get them at all and i was like yo i just heard somebody got like three four pairs just walking out the store they just kept getting me to run around but everybody knows how back door and stuff goes by holding some pairs down because they don't even have that shoe like track anymore they don't have any reservations so now they're gonna do everything first come first serve and who knows when they get them they're the only one i can tell us when they do and so that's the easiest way for a manager you know to backdoor some pairs man so i do not agree with that at all I didn't get that shoe, but I went into JD Sports. Check it out, man. Check out the bags. My first ever purchase from JD Sports. Let's go ahead and pull them out. And this shoe actually was all over Instagram today. It was all over Instagram. Everybody was talking about it. As you can see, it comes in a black box. You already know what it is, either mid or a low. And um, like I said, I seen it all over Instagram. It was a restock, and everybody uh, was on it. Soul Link sent out the notification. J23 app sent a notification. I was like, yo. I need to get a pair. And so I went up there, tried to find the mochas, and I end up finding these. And let me tell you guys, these things are beautiful. The size tag reads Air Jordan 1 Low, Corp Purple, Black, and White. And they retail for 90 bucks. But you know your boy used that military discount, and I got these joints for like $67. Super steel, man. I cannot go wrong with that military discount or any discount at all. And check it out. Bam, bam, there you have it. 
the Air Jordan 1 Low Core Purple. As you guys do know, the 2.0s released uh, this year. I think it was back in like March or uh, February, I forget. But just check these joints out. A very, very dope colorway. And I have the highs already, but the lows, you just cannot go wrong with it. And I was like, yo, why not add these to the collection? The lows been going, you know, real crazy lately. And I can preserve my pair of Core Purple 2.0s, which I have right here. Let's go ahead and pull these joints out and bam, bam. I know y'all probably be like, you already got a high. Why did you need a low? I don't know, man. I just want to, you know, keep this one on ice. These are dead stock, very clean colorway. And I was like, yo, I can put some work to these low Air Jordan 1 core purples, man. You guys know the differences, of course. The Wings logo isn't on the side. It's on the back, as you can see. And uh, they didn't come with any extra laces. And I do believe that these came with extra laces. Then they came with, like purple laces or they came with white laces. I'm not too sure, but I know white laces would pop with these joints right here. And um, even some purple laces, of course. This is literally an identical shoe with just a low, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully one day they bring back the original Air Jordan 1 Core Purple, even in a low version, a mid. Either way, I'm a cop because I don't discriminate from the lows, the mids, or the highs. I like all of them. So yeah, man, I had to pick these joints up under retail pickup. I didn't get the mochas, but your boy was still happy with the purchase I made today. So I went and grabbed the other shoe. Uh, I must have popped the laces off or something, but you guys let me know down below in the comments if these came with white laces or they came with extra purple laces. Oh, I think it was purple because the purple didn't match the actual court purple on the shoe. That's what it was, that's what it was. But like I said, white laces would be super fire in these Air Jordan 1 lows right here. Same outsoles as you can see, same laces, same, uh, different leather quality. The leather I feel like is a little bit better on uh, the 2.0 highs. On um, the lows, a little bit more flat. You guys know, usually with the lows, the leather quality is not that great. But something that is extremely different between the highs and the lows is the insole on these guys. You can see it has a pink or infrared insole, and the high version only has a black insole. So give it a little bit more pop, give it a little bit more, you know, distinctive vibe to it. I don't know if these were a return or what, but the laces are all types of weird. It's like lace uh, sideways. I literally just picked these joints up. Uh, They're 100% dead stock but maybe somebody returned them or something but i ain't never seen a jordan one low uh come lace like this before all right guys that's pretty much it for the video make sure you guys subscribe if you have not subscribed already Ring notification bell so you never miss any other content that drops on the channel any live streams any live cops you guys will get notified by hitting that bell man let me know if you want to add it the court purple lows in the collection today it was a huge restock or initial release i don't know i just been seeing these floating around everywhere but I guess we finally got a big, you know, release of these today. I know a lot of people still aren't feeling the lows, but you gotta get used to it, man. We're gonna get a lot more dope ones. And just imagine when like the original bread one lows come back out, the shadow one lows, uh, the royal blue ones. Like it's gonna be a lot of one lows that come out and you gotta switch it up, man. You gotta accept the new new, you know what I'm saying? Head over to Instagram, give your boy a follow at DaVinci's World. It'll be linked down below in the description box. And before I let you go, man, you gotta hit that like button right now. Let's get this video up right here to 300 likes. I appreciate everybody for pulling up. Thank you for all the love and support you guys have been showing. And with all that being said, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video, man. Peace.